Hi everybody, thank you for watching the video. As you can see, this is actually from my uh, competition at the RPS Philadelphia push pull on June 9th of 2018. And um, I know it's been a while. I know I've been away from making videos for quite a long time and quite a few things happened. So um, definitely want to get you guys kind of up to date on what's going on and what our things look like for the foreseeable future. So, pretty sure those of you who have been following my channel, and one of the things you'll definitely notice is my weight coming into that competition, which was at 190 pounds. And normally I compete in the 181 weight class, but I decided um, I was going to compete in, not do a weight cut, and just compete in the next weight class up and see how it would fare. Now, before I continue with that, let me jump all the way back to the beginning so I can get you up to speed to exactly what led to that uh, decision. So, um, where I left off at, pretty much based off of um, the last video I posted, which should be the Philly Fit Expo, the USA IPL meet from April 28th. Uh, if you haven't seen that, please check it out. Um, so, uh, obviously, I took a few days off before the meet just to get my body rest and get ready for this competition. So once I did the Philly Fit Expo, that exact same day, I actually got sick. I got food poisoning. So I was out of the gym for another four days, which resulted in me not being in the gym for a whole week straight, which really, really messed my body up. Um, and it was the third time I got sick in about two months, so it was really, really bad for me. And a, a top, that on top of the weather and everything, so it really messed with my body. And around the time, I actually got really frustrated because I was trying to get back into the swing of things, but my body was just not recuperating. My body was just not getting back to the way it was. So I actually, um, around that time as well, I decided I was going to train for something different. And what I was going to do was I was going to decide and train for the police academy. And uh, I started running. I started upping my calories to 5,000 calories a day, just like I used to do back in the day. And it, it, I got all the way up to 195 pounds. Jumped all the way up. And um, amongst this time, I realized that it was actually going to affect my body and my performance. And actually, it wasn't helping my leverages in regards, in regards to my uh, training and my, on my deadlift. It actually hurt me more than it helped me. So... I got to the point where, long story short, I decided to discontinue training for that and uh, just focus on my weight training because that is something that I hold near and dear to me and I've accomplished so much and I've accomplished so much more that I don't want to walk away from that yet. So um, amongst that and uh, you know being sick and everything and just trying to figure out where am I at in regards to my training and where am I at in regards to my strength, I literally decided maybe eight days away from the competition I was going to do this RPS push-pull meet and just do, uh, obviously just do a deadlift only meet um, no training literally just a one week prep no cutting weight anything and just seeing what happened and I changed my diet that week as well as if my the, the diet that I usually do and I got down to 190 literally weighed in at 190 with my clothes on whatever didn't care um, and just wanted to see where I was at so I put 625 as my opener. I was kind of skeptical because, again, based on my past performances, my uh, my body was not performing it like it usually did. So I, I went for 640, and as you see from the video, that was my opener. It moved really well, better than I actually anticipated. So I was like, you know what? Why not shoot for 700 or 700 plus? Put 705 on the bar. Um, and again, this is my first time going that heavy on an Oki deadlift bar, uh, let alone this is this would be my the most I've ever done for RPS. I went for it and uh, um, it moved like it, you know, it, like I'm pretty sure I, I again, I, as I anticipated to and I got the lift and that was my second attempt and I waved my third. Um, so definitely a positive walking away from that competition, you know, especially just missing at 722 at the uh the fit expo wanted to bounce back and get a 700 lift and also i did this meet drug tested so i competed in the elite open weight class which what that means for rps lifters is that if you're an elite weight class you are mandatory drug tested right after the competition 
and I wanted to do that because I wanted to get my first 700 plus pound lift drug tested um, on in the books so that was definitely a big 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 thing to take away from that so I finally got a 700 pound deadlift in a drug tested uh, competition so um, again that's a plus so um, definitely uh, the future bright when it comes to uh, doing more drug tested meets I think what I'm probably going to be doing is if I do a drug tested competition I probably would just do the 198 weight class it was the first time I've ever done the 198 weight class and uh, just now I would do a weight cut and just go walk in and you know and just see how I would fare um, and I think that's definitely on the horizon of something I would definitely as another challenge put to myself in the future um, you know, just in case if I just want to do a meat ride that without doing a weight cut, just seeing how I would fare. So I got a first place plus, um, so, you know, definitely a, uh, a plus sign there. So, um, yeah. So with that being said, uh, I definitely just want to get back on my grind and get back to my routine and just be focused. And, you know, I, I've been sticking to my regular diet, the diet that I usually do and, you know, weight's getting back down. I woke up today at 187. Um, so definitely starting to get back into season mode, what I normally weigh at, walk around at, and I pretty much just train around 184, 185-ish, so, you know, looking to get back to that weight and uh, just getting myself ready. So um, definitely want to put myself on a 12-week program, seeing how I would fare, and uh, I definitely want to do, without question, I definitely want to do a meet, about, again, at 181, of course, so I could just bounce back and make up for uh, that Fit Expo, and then that would be my last meet before I uh, compete at the IPL, World, IPL Worlds in November. And uh, yeah, um, just I'm ready to get back on the grind and just keep pushing and again, just make that consistent progress and just push and just work. That's my biggest thing and you know, for I know for a fact that the biggest thing I can take away from this whole experience the, these, these past few months is uh, just believing in myself and just not giving up and just telling myself regardless of what has been brought to me, regardless of what negativity, regardless of you know the hardships and the trials and tribulations that I've went through these past few months, I did not give up on myself and I just stayed consistent and the one thing I stayed true to was me and just not losing my faith. And you know, again, just seeing that uh, those things visually come to light makes a big difference and I uh, just want to get back on track so one thing i definitely want to say though um i didn't make i didn't do a post recap video for the the philly fit expo meet because i was just already away unfortunately um i received some bad news four days out from that competition a friend of mine made named michael Teruso, unfortunately passed away and he was going to compete at that meet so if anybody's wondering and curious on why they had the mt on uh my singlet it was to represent his uh initials because he was supposed to compete there with me he's a, another fellow 181 pound he was another fellow 181 pound uh, weightlifter and that was the first competition we would ever ever done together and i was really looking forward to it um but unfortunately he has passed so um you know i definitely wanted to uh commemorate that competition to him and his family, his, and my thoughts and prayers go out to his family and his friends. And I wish him all the best. And, uh, you know, Mike, I miss you, Manny. I miss you. Um, I wish you nothing but the best, my friend. And uh, I was definitely looking forward to competing with you, but I know for a fact that you were with me in spirit that day. And uh, looking forward to seeing you again, my friend. Rest in peace. Thank you guys for watching the video, and take care.